a tough loss on the road. Uh, what do you see on the on the stat sheet that's, that wasn't on the scoreboard that gives you some positive thoughts about today's game? Well, I mean, one one positive is uh, you know our punting. You know, we we were atrocious last week uh, against UT Martin, and we're fixing to play uh, number eight right there as a punt returner. And I think he's the number one punt returner in the nation. And in punt returns, he had three for two yards, and we punted the ball ten times. So that, that was, you know, one positive. Uh, the negative on that part was we kicked run right to him on kickoff, and he, you know, ran it all the way back for a touchdown. So uh, which kind of seems to be our M.O. with everything, you know. So you do something good, and then you, you do something really, really bad, and it, uh, you know, negates the good that you did because, you know, you get beat that bad. You know, there's, there's obviously a lot of things wrong. Earlier in the season, there weren't that many big plays uh, that – you know that uh, that put points on the board. The long passes we didn't see that at Texas Tech or against Jacksonville or anything. But it, but Calvin was systemic tonight. What do you see the reason? I mean, it was a good Austin Peay football team. Yeah, explosive plays. You know, killed us. We had you know long runs, long long pass plays. Uh, you know, and then we couldn't get anything explosive going. You know, couldn't couldn't establish the run. Couldn't get any you know explosive plays on the other end. So, you know, you got to. You know, it all works together. You know, they get an explosive play on, on uh, their return game and special teams. We don't get any explosives. You know, we, we hold him in check, but don't get any explosive. And then we're not getting explosive plays offensively, uh, and they are. And then that, that's that's how you end up with a lopsided score like that. Earlier in the week on the coaches' show and in the pregame interview, there was some talk about how we needed to take advantage of miscues on the other time on the other team and then convert that into points. And we did that in the first half today. Yeah, you know, we we did some, you know, we we uh, you know, we we weren't very disciplined. You know, I couldn't tell you how many times we jumped off sides and gave them a free play, you know. We were jumping off sides, give them a free shot at at uh, you know, throwing the ball in the end zone. So very undisciplined uh, you know, play uh, with with our penalties and just giving them more chances. Do you attribute that to being tired or lack of focus or a little bit of both? Uh, I would say it's lack of focus because we worked on it. You know, we've been working on it for quite a while because this isn't the first game that we've jumped off sides. And, you know, we worked on it in practice a lot. So uh, if you're working on something in practice and then you don't see it come to fruition out here, it's a lack of focus on game day. Next week we hit, take the road to Lindenwood. Lindenwood pulled off a big win over Eastern Illinois earlier this afternoon. What do you expect from Lindenwood? I have no idea because they've not been in the conference. I've never seen any film on them. Uh, have no idea. I mean, I've noticed uh, some of the scores. Uh, you know, I know that they beat Central Arkansas, who's really, really good. And this team lost to Central Arkansas that we just played. So, uh, imagine they're a really good football team.